One of the questions we get asked is, can you sell a free product? Maybe one that has an integration and how that all works. So I'm going to show you how to create a checkout form for a free product. But what's really nice about it is if it's a free product, it's not going to show any of the ordering stuff where they've got to even see PayPal or credit card or whatever the payment integration is. So it's almost like an opt-in form, a registration form where someone's giving you their info, but they're really purchasing a free product that can then lead to integrations being added, et cetera. I'm gonna show you how to do all that right now. So first, let's make sure we have a product that is free. And I have created this product right here and it is named free membership. And I have a price and that price is zero. So this is a free product. Now, I also have Sure members installed on this site. So why don't we add an integration while we're at it? So I'm gonna click here where it says add new integration. I'm gonna choose Sure members from the list. And we have this one right here called VIP members and I'll add an integration. So now what's gonna happen is when someone purchases the free membership product, they're not gonna pay anything and they're gonna be added to this VIP membership group. All right, this is all good to go. So next, what I'm going to do is create a form for this free product. I'll click on forms. I'll click on add new and I'll give this a name. I named it free membership. It doesn't matter what you name it. It's only for you. It's not something that the buyer or the person that buys, if you want to call it that, this uh, free product is going to see. So we have some options to choose from here and it actually doesn't matter. You can essentially accomplish the same thing with all of them. So I'm gonna go with this simple form right here and then I'll click on next. And for the products, I wanna add that free product. When I scroll down, there it is, free membership and it's zero. I'm not gonna set up a custom thank you page. Let's just go ahead and click on create. Now it's important to note if it's a free product that it's not gonna show this credit card stuff, okay? Um, so. What I'm gonna do is let's just customize this a little bit. And we obviously wanna change something down here with the button. We don't want it to say purchase cause they're technically not buying anything. So I always like to go into the list view by clicking this icon and then expanding the form so I can see all of the components. So first of all, we don't need the express payment component. Let's go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna want the name, so I'll add that, but uh, we don't need the totals. This order summary right here, we don't need this. <laughs> so let's go ahead and remove the entire thing. I'm gonna remove it. Okay, so now literally all we're left with is the order button and the email button. So let me go ahead and click on the order button right here. And instead of saying the purchase, I'm gonna say join now. So I'll edit the button text. Yep, that's fine. And uh, it's up to you whether you wanna sh show the padlock, if that is associated with like an actual financial transaction. For this, I'm gonna just turn it off. There we go. It just says join now, or we could even speak more specifically, join membership now. How about that, join membership now, I like that a lot. Okay, so we should probably add a name or any of the other checkout components that you might want to add. So I'm gonna click on the block inserter right here. Let's scroll down and we have a whole bunch of options. So some of the ones that you may want to add to this, maybe a checkbox for terms and conditions. Maybe you want a radio select box so they, they can tell you a little bit more about them. Or maybe you'll want the name. I actually want the name. So let's go ahead and click on that. Or you might want to add a custom field. We have videos for all of that. Also, you might want to have them set a password. Let's go ahead and add that. And that's good. So let's reorder these. So I'm gonna click on name, let's move that to the top and email's fine. And for set a password, I actually prefer the language create a password. So let's go ahead and change this. Now uh, let's make this required. I should also make the name required. I'll click on that. Let's make the name required, create a password. Now we also have this option here for password where it will have them add a confirmation so they will enter it in twice. This is up to you if you want to do that. All right, this actually looks fine to me. So let's go ahead and click on publish, publish, and let's go. And so now I just wanna create a page for signing up for the free membership. 
you're using a page builder, you might want to just copy the short code. We have a block for the block editor, for Elementor, and for Beaver Builder, so you won't need it for those. I'm using the block editor, so I'm going to go to pages. I'm going to add a new page and I'll name this free sign up. Okay, that's done. And then I'll click on the block inserter and choose checkout form. And I'm going to choose the form I created. So I'll click on select form and it will be the free membership. And I'll click on choose. Now, I'm not going to style this page and make it pretty. This is fine for me. I'll just click on publish, publish, and then I'll click on view page. And as you can see, there's a form here. Well, actually, this is not how it's going to look. I'm logged in. So let's actually see what this looks like when you're not logged in. So I'll go ahead and copy the link and open up an incognito browser. All right. So let's paste in the link, hit on enter. And you can see here it is. It's going to ask for the name, their email address for them to create a password, and then they can click on join membership now. Hey, why don't I just actually do that right now? All right, I filled it out. I'll click on join membership and it's going to send me right here to the thank you page. I probably would have actually not sent them to the thank you page. I would have customized the thank you page. I would have done something a little bit different there. So let me show you how to do that really quick. I'll go back to edit page and I can click on the form. And then there's this option right here where it says thank you page. Uh, go to a custom thank you page. I would enable this and I would have a really nice thank you page set up where I'm welcoming them to the membership and all that kind of stuff. So that's the only thing I would have done differently. But let's just go back um, and let me show you that this integration did happen. So if I go to users, we have the new user right here. He's Walter White. And you could see right here, this is column right here is actually added by Shure members and it shows you what um, uh, access group a user's in and I can see this user's inside of the VIP members and when I scroll down um, you can also see it right here. You can see how easy it is to create free memberships that people can just sign up for and you can leverage the power of all of the integrations. You can leverage the power of the checkout forms and all of the powerful components that make up a checkout form and you can use this to register free users on your website and trigger these automations. And this is just a great strategy in order to get someone inside of your course or your membership or your system as a whole.